All right, I'm going to demonstrate probing an easel. Okay, I already homed my machine, and now I'm just going to go through the walkthrough. I have a piece here that I'm going to mill. I'm going to hit carve. I'm going to go through and make sure everything is correct as I'm going through, and you get to the probe area. Now, prior to this, you would need to be uh, to have loaded an easel driver or easel local um, that supports probing. I'm not sure which one started. I'm using 3.2. Uh, and then you also have to have uh, Gerbil version 1.0c or newer. Um, and then after that, you'd have to walk to go through the setup walkthrough. Uh, in there is a probe section. When you get to the probe section, there is an advanced settings that's easy to miss. I know I did the first time. You go in, you've got to make sure to fill out all your stuff, including the thickness of your touch plate. And you should be measuring it with one of these. You should be measuring it with a uh, calipers of some sort. Uh, you, you're going to want to be as precise as you can. Enter in all that information. Come through. Go to the walkthrough like this. And you're going to hit probe. Alright. First I ask you to confirm your position. Now, the thing is, is for me, I have a clamp in the corner even though this is going to be my x, y, zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it out of the way an inch. And I know it's an inch that way. And I'm going to go an inch this way too. So I'm an inch over to the right and an inch in from the front of my uh, the, the edge of my material. I don't want to probe and have it uh, teetering off the end. So I'm going to confirm the position here. And it says, please plug uh, the lead into the carriage, which actually it wasn't, but it goes right right past that step. Uh, I'm going to turn this here. Here I have my probe set up. It's just a hunk of copper that's uh, pretty flat. Uh, that I drilled and tapped for a uh, lead. And then I'm using Charlie's magnetic uh, clip for the collet. Uh, it works really good. I just lightly sanded or scuffed away the paint on the collet on the flat part right there. And this just attaches right to it. It's really strong. And I got my probe connection down here. Okay, so that's all you got to do. Have the, one of the leads on the collet or an alligator clip right to the uh, shank is fine too. Um, and then you put your probe underneath it. Now you're going to want to make sure let me move the camera over here. Okay, you're going to want to make sure you jog down close enough so that it will actually hit it. Because in the uh, walkthrough, in advanced settings, you end up uh, telling it um, how far the maximum seat is for jogging. Now it's good. So I'm going to tell it now on the screen, it's asking... Uh, Clip is attached. I'm going to say yeah. It says touch the plate to the bit to check for con continuity or 
connectivity. Right now it's red. When I touch the uh, lift up the plate just to tap the uh, bit, it's going to turn green. And then the next button is going to be uh, that. So here, if we go back to this, I'm just going to lift this up and tap it. And the next, uh, the next little step showed up. It says, uh, touch plate is in place. Okay. Uh, touch plate is in place. Yes. And the next thing is just start probing. Okay, so I have it set up that it lifts up 0.1 inches when it makes contact. So you're going to see it go down and then it's going to lift up as soon as it touches. So there's that. Now the screen is saying um, disconnect the Z probe. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make sure to unplug unplug the connection. I have a basically what's a guitar plug. It's a mono plug. I got the female receptacle on the front of my uh, work area. Take all this away. Okay. Go back to here. I'm going to say it's away. Now it says set X and Y zero. Now remember, I jogged myself over uh, an inch in. Uh, y plus an inch. So I'm going to go again and I'm going to jog it back now. Okay, so I'll jog it back an inch and over this way. And now I'm at my x, y, zero. So here I can actually have a clamp and my zero point and I use a bump stop. Let's see if I can kind of hard to see that, but I use a bump stop uh, in my material, and uh, so I know exactly where that X and Y is. I, I have it programmed in my G28 location. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to say set X and Y zero. Now, if I was in a bit change, and all I was doing was a bit change, I could say use last X and Y, as long as I just did the probing. But since I didn't, I'm going to lock that in. Now I'm at the point where I'm ready to actually do my carve. So that's it. That's probing in easel. It's not too difficult uh, once you have the access to it.